this is the last lecture in the Best Fit series, and we're going to move into RFA after this. And so in this lecture, I'm going to discuss how to create a report quality plot using RMC Best Fit. This presentation is going to focus on three things, identifying the information to consider when creating a plot, explaining the, pro the plot property options within RMC Best Fit, and then I'm going to review a short tutorial about how to do some of those things. When you're creating a report quality image, whether it's a picture, schematic, or graph, it's important that the information is legible, easy to understand, and supports the report text. Detailed titles and annotations can make a report graphic, um, it can take it to the next level. Items to consider when creating a report graphic include things such as plot title, axis titles with units if appropriate, series titles, and key annotations. Take these two legends, for example. The legend on the left displays the default series titles with an RMC best fit, while the legend on the right axis has been, or the right figure has been edited for clarity. Notice that the systematic data now has the period of record from 1950 to 2016 included. The interval data title was changed to read historical floods, and the quantile prior title was changed to indicate that NOAA Atlas 14 rainfall runoff modeling was used to develop the quantile priors. So that just adds a little bit more information so somebody can glance at your plot and understand what the information is representing. This is the default graphic in RMC Best Fit for graphical results. In the chat, oh, this was for an online course originally, sorry. Um, so I'll just ask you to, to speak up. Name something that we might want to change to create a better report quality plot. Label the y-axis. Give it a title. Anything else you notice? Okay, get rid of the picture of the icons on the right in your screenshot. Oh, you guys have such good ideas. Change the range. What, what, what did you have? The quantile priors. Um, you could change their colors. You could change how they're represented. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't catch what else. Oh, you could change your legend so it's a little more descriptive than just interval data. Good. Those are all really good answers. Um, now let's talk a little bit about how to make these types of edits to our plots. Okay, so um, it looks like um, my answers here suggest most of the things that you guys caught, and you even caught some additional ones, so good job. Um, yep, there's those, those figures there. Okay, um, I will say also, and I'll talk about this on another slide, I think, but um, you can actually, if you look at that, where it says plot features, the little camera icon, if you click on that, you can actually save a picture of the plot and it, it looks really nice and it doesn't have the gray bars all around it. And then it's not just a screenshot, it's actually a picture. So that's really nice to be able to include in a plot or in a report, excuse me. Okay, so how to access properties. The properties window is docked on the right-hand side of your screen by default. If it's not, the properties window can be accessed via the view window. window. Um, excuse me, the view menu and the properties window. So that's shown there. You can see what it looks like. Um, to switch the plot properties, click the gear icon at the bottom of the plot features, and this will bring you to the main menu. And then to navigate directly to the settings for a particular feature on a plot, such as the legend, you can right click on the feature and then select the format. This is a shortcut to editing individual features. So um, you have these notes and you have these, this slide deck, so if you ever forget how to do something, you can look back um, at these, and it'll help you out. The main menu directs you to the general plot settings. Use the drop-down menu to the top to pick which element you'd like to edit. So let's step through some simple tutorials of how to perform edits. Say we want to update the name and marker for a systematic data. From the main menu drop-down, you select Series, to select the series you want to edit, use the secondary drop-down menu, and then you can edit the title of the systematic data and the marker style. So it's, it's very much like a Microsoft product um, in, in terms of how this is set up, so it should be very intuitive to you. 
To make changes to the Y axis, select the axis and then enter a new name and units in the appropriate text boxes. Similarly, to add a title to the plot, select the general plot settings and enter the title in the text box. You can also change the color, font, and size of the text. And as you can see, the text is actually, oops, sorry, go back. It's actually kind of small. Um, so especially if you're gonna be giving a PowerPoint presentation like this, and you're gonna be presenting it to an audience, you might consider increasing the font size on your axes especially and your titles, because that's gonna help um, be more legible for people and, that are sitting in an audience. Axes and titles can also be edited directly on the graphical results tab. Click on the text to edit. So as you can see, the pointer is on the Y axis. You can just click right there and then start typing. Other plot features are available on the graphical results tab, and they include the ability to add annotations and save the plot as an image, which I already mentioned. So the annotations is kind of a neat um, feature, and I'll talk about that now. The annotation menu has multiple options that can be used to highlight important features of the plot, and some common ones include arrow, text, and horizontal line. Edits to the annotation can be made in the properties window. You can change the text and update the text formatting, and you can also update the formatting for the arrow itself um, if you used an arrow annotation. Another common annotation is the horizontal line. The text format and location where the line crosses the y-axis can be updated in the properties window. So in this example, you can see we've added a horizontal line for the three-day PMF runoff volume, and we've added the text that also includes the, the value of that volume with CFS units. Um, and that allows us to kind of visualize where that falls in our frequency curve. In conclusion, when you're creating report quality graphics, it's important to include descriptive titles, axes, series, and annotations. In RMC Best Fit, these edits can be performed within the properties window that is accessed via the settings or gear icon in the plot feature menu or by right-clicking on the feature of interest. Edits can be made um, to change the text, updates to the style, font, size, and color of the annotations. So here's a couple of examples on this slide of some nice report quality plots. Both the chronology plot and the flow frequency curve plot have been edited to add annotation. And um, you'll notice that the, the color for the quantile priors is no longer the default green. I've changed them to red points so that they stand out a little more on the chart and are easier to read. Um, and then change the titles within the legend. So you can look at those at your leisure. Um, but there have been a lot of... Um, small changes that really make a big difference in communicating to your audience. Um, I'll remind you again that there are um, user manuals and quick start guides, and they are a great reference for the software package that you're working with. Um, and so you can also see the information that I shared with you this morning in this presentation if you go to the plot features section of this quick start guide, and it'll tell you all about how to use those features.